Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another fun-filled episode of Dead Rising 2 Off the Record with Frank motherfucking West. So, just so you guys know, I went and did the Get TK Zombrex mission off-camera. Like, big deal. I had to go casino hop and scrape up enough money to buy him Zombrex. And it, all that came from it was a little cutscene where he's like, Oh, blah, 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 Frankie. Uh, da, 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 and, like, it's whatever. The reason it was so important is because we can't get the final full ending without TK being alive, so to speak. So, that's why we had to get him Zombrex for a time right now. And now we're down in the underground chasing, uh, chasing the lead of Case 8. So, here we go. I, and as you can see, Frank looks a little different, and that's because I'm testing out the theory that if you put one piece of each clothing on, you get all benefits of all four. So, uh, cyborg body, cosplayer face, chef hat, and then fire, uh, fireman boots. And then here's where we see what's going on in the underground. In the underground, I was assaulted by a few of those guys in blue. They're, they're mercs. And then, so what's happening here is that sound is causing all the zombies to explode with all the, all the queens just floating around. And then all the queens just get, get sucked up into that vat. Ooh, sweet new, sweet new electro weapons. <laughs> Frank's face right there. And now we're in it, guys. We're in the thick. So we're exploring this new secret underground area that we found. So here we go. Let's see if I can remember the best way to do this. First of all, I should have, while I was still down there, drank this. Crap. Because now I'm up here, and their guns are going to stop me from drinking it. Damn it, drink it! Well, we died! <laughs> I, uh... Jesus. I should have... I gotta get better at that, you know? I should have looked at my health bar before going out of cover. That was, that was my mistake. So let's see how far back it throws me. Hopefully that was the checkpoint right there. If not, uh... You guys will see me running through the tunnels. Anyways, guys, how's it going? Uh, oh, oh, God. So, it kicked me back all the way here, which is just ridiculous. So, <clears throat> now you guys will get to see me tear it up through the tunnels, because it's way too short on time to just end the episode. The reason I didn't put this on camera is because it's kind of boring, you know? It's just like, alright, move this way, and then we're gonna, we're gonna move that way. Always grab the new vehicle, so the damage on the vehicle is at zero when you start driving. Although, I don't know how far we're gonna get with those guys shooting at us, so. Serpentine! I suppose, in theory, another way to go about doing this, where you don't have to, you know, deal with the guys, is, uh, you just start further down the tunnel in a, another entrance area. So there they are. I have the handgun, so I guess I can at least... Forgot I had the handgun, so that I could at least start to pick him off. We'll drop that, we'll pick up one of their guns, and get in here, keep driving. So, 8-2 is what we're on, the only lead. Obviously, when we get there, though, we can skip the cutscene, because it doesn't matter. We already saw it. 
God, I feel like it's gonna take a whole episode just to get to where I was, and that that blows. I know I should have stopped. Uh, yeah, like already contradicting what I just said, but I should have stopped and picked up that vehicle because now these guys are gonna shoot us, and it's probably gonna break like right about here. Mr. Jones and me. Anyways, guys, let me know how you're doing in the comments down below. Or find me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You guys know I'm all over the place. Let's see if I can pick these assholes off from... Where'd he go? I'm like, I know he can't shoot me if I can't see him. Should be another one down here, right? Whatever, it doesn't matter if I hit the button. Alright, we have we have more health than we did last time going into this, so we should be alright. In this secret underground facility. Alright, yeah. Oh, that's not hit. Oh, I'm like, that's not connecting with them at all, which is fucking garbage. Alright, we got one of them down. Okay, so let's equip this bad boy and run for it. Fuck. Aim and shoot, asshole. I'm like, I was shooting, and he was just like, oh, no, whatever, I'm just Frank, Frank, no ass, whatever. Alright, so, let's drink the randomizer, I guess. And vomit. I'm like, I don't think the randomizer ever helps you. <laughs> there should be one more up here, right? I guess not. Is that a fucking remote mine? What the fuck? <laughs> Take a drink. Alright guys, so uh, we'll wrap up the episode here, and the next episode will be us exploring this facility. You know, like Frank's hunch like that, because A, he's holding that gun, and B, he's also sick from the randomizer, so... Uh, guys, thanks for tuning in. Uh, really appreciate it. You know, leave me a comment down below what you think. We're getting close, guys. Like, the end of the game's almost here, and I do plan on playing through the after game, if some of you know about that. But if you don't, you know, don't worry about it. We'll get to it when we get to it. So, there he goes, throwing up again. Guys, as always, be good to yourself, be good to each other, and I will see you in the next episode.